Every water I've ever fished has had its fair share of myths and monsters. And this old estate lake is no exception. For in amongst the carp and the tench, the roach and the perch, are a small number of ancient Crucian carp. Often spoken about, but rarely seen, people fish for them more in hope than expectation. This particular morning, tench were my intended quarry, but heavy rain had made the fishing even slower than usual. Still I persisted, feeding Maggot along the front of a weed bed just out from the swim. As the sun came up and my eyes adjusted to the water, I could make out the dark silhouette of a fish slowly working its way along the front of the weed bed taking Maggot. Initially I thought it was a tench, but as it turned sideways I realised that the dorsal fin was too long and if it wasn't a tench and it wasn't one of the king carp, it could only be one of the mythical Crucian carp. I watched as it waddled towards my hook bait before sucking in the maggot and I actually struck before seeing the float dip. Knowing that I was attached to something very very special made the fight even more dramatic and higher in pressure than usual as I feared I might lose the fish in the weed. But thankfully everything held firm and I was able to draw the fish to the net with my trusty old Mark IV Avon and Mitchell 300 reel. I'm not sure that I've ever seen a more impressive fish. At three pounds, three ounces, a new PB by a country mile, and quite possibly one of the best fish that I've ever seen or caught. Stunning, stunning, estate lake crucian carp.